made little error. So down there is a 500 by 700 skylight and we have a roof rack. So we've worked out, we only need to cut one bar to fit this in, which is the one in the middle. And then dad's got something that he wants to share with you of what his idea is um, to sort of edge it, is it? I don't know, support yeah, it. Edge it and support yeah? it. Yeah. I'm going to put this 3.2 mil aluminium angle in. I'm going to cut this bar off here and then sit it in there, notch this end and notch this end, and then screw down so it supports this. The extra bit this, that we've got at the bar end. that's going to be on the end. I'm doing the same but underneath on the solar panels with the slightly thinner stuff. Um, to, cut, to support the two bars we've cut so off So we've, well. we've cut off two bars here to get the fan in. So we're using a similar thing to support it. But doing it this way up on those sort of sewing panels sitting. Where yeah. this one we're using this as a, to cover the end up. And it's going to lay on the edge, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, wonderful. Yeah. So that's what we're doing now. We've got to cut this middle bar and then do the same that we did with the fan. Mark the hole, cut this and then get that skylight in. If you're new here, I'm Becca, and together with my wonderful father, Hi. we are converting a van for myself to live in full time. The first job was getting the roof rack out of the way, and Dad's new jigsaw cut through that thing like butter. It was amazing. And then that meant he was able to mark off the points that he could also cut out on the aluminium frame. Right. Okay. Yeah, see if this fits. Yeah. No. Perfect. Oh, genius. Yeah. And we screw them Absolutely down there. Absolutely spot on. Just needs a touch, a touch of a file there just to make them perfectly flat. But yeah, that's good. Amazing. So that will support this beam. This one. Yeah. That's quite solid, but it just helps. Yes. Thanks. Okay. Right, we'll just file that off, come back, and you can drill some holes. Okay. Hey. It's off. So we now have a gap in between. Dad's gone down to make another one of those um, silver fittings across the top. I'm going to file these edges and then paint them with hammerite rust treat paint again because they're now exposed metal so you've got to cover those up um, to protect from the elements because we don't want any rust. The simple but necessary jobs that need carrying out when you're doing a van build. And this is the stuff that takes the time, let me tell you. We were here for another seven hours today and it's really taxing but it's fun at the same time. After the paint we drilled the holes where the screws would go to fit it down and what I don't show here is that we actually put a blob of silicon underneath there as well to secure it. Solid as a rock. Solid as a rock. Same again on the other, same side. On the other side. Yeah, let's go. Let's do it. We repeated the process on this side and what I managed to catch on film was dad getting the silicone out. There we go. And that just stops any rattles or tries to stop any rattles anyway for when we're driving. It just makes sure they're more secure and adds that extra layer of protection. Nice. Good. Very good. Shall we... Have a coffee? Yes. Have a break? Break. Break, break time. time. Break time. And that's where we're at. Perfect. I mean, absolutely. It's beautiful craftsmanship, that dad. We've just realized we've got a little snagging situation. So we cut the beam out of the roof rack on the top. However, <laughs> what we didn't realize is that there is also this extra beam in here on the inside of the roof. And this dad tried to get this off but this is just far too difficult to get off so what we've done instead is cut a second bar on the roof rack this back one here which we had and we made these specifically to fit it we've ended up cutting that off as well and filing it and rush tra treating it um, so that gives us a much bigger space to work with and then we can install the skylight without being interfered by this in the roof. It's gonna fit in this very back bit, basically. Bit of extra work, but I mean, that still does its job. It's still gonna hold the end one up anyway. We've just had to cut the bar off that one and it's gonna go in here. So now what we're gonna do is go underneath and measure and mark the corners 
and draw the corners and drill through the corners up to the roof and then come onto the roof and use the jigsaw to cut and match the corners together. That's the way we're gonna do it. This is it though. It's got a built-in bug screen and a blind at that side. 500 by 700. And for anyone interested, it's the Vision, Vision Star L Pro. That's the one I've gone for. Yeah. We found a piece of wood and what we've done is we've cut it to 700 mil, which is the, the width of the skylight. So we're not messing around trying to figure out what the distance is, are we? And then no. dad has, flip it the other way, and then dad has marked so the center of this that. This is 70 center. Yeah. 35. Yeah. And this is 50 and it's centre 25. Yeah. So So 50 500 mil 50 centimetres yeah. is the width or the length and then the other side yeah. is the other way. So then we hopefully don't make any mistakes, do we? Yeah. We found the middle of the panel. 69 again, way. Mm -hmm. And um and then yeah, so this is how we're measuring it out. This is what we're doing and I think it's a very clever way. So we'll do 69 here again to mark the centre and yeah. we join those two up yeah. and then we've got the centre of the van and yeah. then we can go either way from that centre. Yeah, yeah. because once we've got the centre of the van yeah. we put the centre of this on the roof and, and then that's it. And you've we've... got the width so you can do yeah. all four corners Yeah. so then we're yeah. not trying to jigsaw around the roof. Yes, so yeah because it? it's quite tight and this sticks out so we've got to make sure to miss yeah. that, we've got to make sure to miss this. Yeah. And uh, I think we've got maybe 10 centimetres extra, haven't we? So, yeah, not, much. not much. Dad literally just said, oh, there's no going back now. <laughs> ah, it scares me. But yeah, there's no going back now, we're drilling. Holes are in the roof. Right, now the holes are made. I'm coming up here to make sure we've measured right. So 70. Oh, Dad, we're good. That's, well, one of them's right. Let me get this one. <laughs> That's to 50 spot on. That's to 50 spot on. Come on. Full house. We've got them right. I'm staying here. Okay. We got it right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Using Dad's pilot holes as a guide, I then went through with a drill bit big enough for the jigsaw to fit through. Okay. Before connecting all four corners together with a guide, here I come with the jigsaw. Right, good luck. Oh, I'm going to do this side. Mm -hmm. We followed the template we'd drawn on the roof with the jigsaw and on the final cut I had to go underneath and pull the metal tight because it started flapping around everywhere so if you're doing this that's a good thing to know but we got there in the end. Absolutely gorgeous. That's perfect Great. isn't it? Yeah that's spot on. The hole is cut we're gonna try and see if it fits. Other way around. Mm. Those rough edges aren't going to foul themselves, Becca. Right. We've got the hole cut. And it's perfect. Absolutely perfect. What we didn't realise, um, just like we did for this fan, there is a wooden frame. And it didn't say that with the instructions that we'd need a wooden frame, but it turns out we do need a wooden frame. Um, and mum is currently busy, so she can't come give us a lift. So we're gonna have to drive <laughs> to go get some wood with a hole in the roof. <laughs> so this is gonna be funny. We just need to go pick up some wood so we can um, make a frame to fit that in. But I think this is gonna be hilarious because there's a hole in the roof and we're going to drive this way. So um, <laughs> let's see what happens, shall we? Ah, oh, it was absolutely fine. No bother at all. It's not raining, so uh, I didn't even notice it, to be honest. But I tell you what, anybody that owns a van that has taken the bulkhead out and lives in it and drives around in it like that, 
hats off to you because this is so unbearably noisy when I drive. I, I hate it. I was like, I'm really glad I decided to keep the bulkhead in. And um, I must apologize <laughs> because I totally forgot to explain why in the bulkhead video. I said I would in the Q&A, but because we'd already started filming replacing the bulkhead instead of just cutting a hole in it i did explain what why i wanted it out because of that and then i totally forgot you know in the actual bulkhead video so my bad and i'll tell you why now number one because i have a cat and i need a separate space to put her if i want the back doors open and i want her safe in the van so that's number one. Number two, noise. As I've just discovered now, noise for when you're driving. Number three, temperature control. When you have the cab separate from the back, you can control the temperature in both the cab and in the back completely differently, separately and better. Another reason, because this is gonna be like my full-time home, it's not something that I'm going to be going off in on a weekend. I'm gonna be living in, in this full-time. I don't wanna feel like I'm in a vehicle. You know, if I had the if I had the bulkhead out and everything, I would know all the time that I'm in a vehicle. Whereas if I have the back separate, when I'm in the back, it's my house. When I'm in the front, it's my car. So that's another reason. Um, and finally, condensation. So if you have the bulkhead in, this cab is going to stay completely separate. There's not going to be condensation when I wake up because I'm not breathing in this space. Um, so I, it will be better and I won't have to worry about, you know, all the condensation on all of these windows. I've only got one window in the back and then a tiny, tiny little hole. So it just is going to save me all that messing around with the condensation as well because it won't form in the front. Um, so there's several, several reasons. Uh, there's probably more that I've forgotten about. There you go. Filled you in, finally. <laughs> just waiting for Dad to come back and then we'll get back and then we'll go. But it's already half past two. It takes so long to do things in a van build. Oh my days. So we'll probably finish that off, the skylight, and then call it a day. And then come back tomorrow and do Les Sola and Le Ox Beam Lights. Hi. We're back. I've just rust treated the edge of this exposed metal. Dad is making the wooden frame with these bits that we've just bought. The same that we use to make the frame for the Max Van Deluxe. Two by one and a half. So we're doing that in between eating some Pringles. <laughs> <laughs> this is all of those little gaps filled in with the tape again, just like we did for the fan. Three layers of the sticky stuff. Again, the lower one is six centimeters, the middle one is six and a half, the top one is seven centimeters if you're doing this yourself. And we're gonna drop it in now, make sure everything's all right. Dad's got the wood down there. Uh, before we put the silicon in and set it. It looks good that, doesn't it? Very good. Next is to, to seal it, bead it. And what dad has suggested, if we fill this little crevice here, so this is the, this is the gap that goes in the, in the van. So we've got this much overlapping on the roof. So if we put a bead all the way around this section here, and also to fill in these gaps here, smooth that off and then do another seal all the way around it. And then once it's in, we use the white one to seal, to actually finish the seal at the edges like we did on the fan. Right, so okay. I do this side. Yeah, just can... show me what to do and then I'll do it. Just... As long as it's proud. Yeah, okay. We sealed the edges and set it in. Yeah. Are we in? You've got to be careful that you don't block these drain holes. There's one in each corner. In the corners, okay. Yeah. With, with oh, so the water that, if it rains, it fills this up, yeah. it's going to go out there, okay. Yeah. But next we've got to bead. Well, you just smooth this off. Smooth here. that off. And then bead around the edge. Um, but if you do have one of these yourself, you it's a good idea to lift it up. You can access this edge better to bead it. 
So we'll do that and then it's probably done, isn't it? It's in. Yeah. Well chuffed. A final bead round the edge before leaving it to set overnight. So underneath, we've put the wood that we've bought in and then these clips are what you drill into and we we can't just drill directly into the roof of the van, so that's why the wood's there. So these clips go all the way around the outside, cliff into the wood, and that's how it's fitted. And here is the final roof shot. Another stage done. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Roof acrobatics.